Why am I doing this video on orthopedics? There is a reason because when any of the MCA exam aspirant uh, is preparing for the exam, they tend to ignore orthopedics very easily, thinking that it's not so important. So that is not how it works. Orthopedics is really important subject. And uh, here I am with a quick review uh, related to few important introductions uh, regarding orthopedics such as the, I will be discussing about the basics uh, which you should be knowing about the bone. Followed by that, I will be talking about some fracture eponyms which are very important for you people. And apart from the fracture eponyms, and I will be helping you to correlate uh, with uh, orthopedics uh, to the other subjects. Uh. So this is how our target works. Uh. Let's get into the discussion of orthopedics. So here I have a bone. So since I'm talking about a bone, guys, look here, you need to understand the parts of the bone. When I'm talking about the parts of the bone, all the bones are divided into something called as epiphysis, metaphysis, diaphysis. Uh. Okay, so what are the divisions? We have epiphysis, mm -hmm. epiphysis, along with the epiphysis, uh, what do you have? Metaphysis, okay, we have something called as metaphysis, okay, and, and uh, we have something called as diaphysis, we have something called as diaphysis, right, uh, listen to me very carefully, so when I am talking about this, uh, so bones, uh, this would be called as proximal part of the bone, so any part which is closer to the human body would be simply called as proximal, any part which is uh, little further from the body would be called as distal, so with that logic in mind, look here, in the topmost part, in this particular aspect of the bone, I would like to name this as the epiphysis, what do we call it as, epiphysis, uh, so Followed by epiphysis. Kya hai there? Metaphysis. What do we have here? Metaphysis. So, when I am talking about this, in the two extreme ends, extreme ends mein kya hota hai? In the extreme ends, we have what is that? Ends of the bone is your epiphysis. So, epiphysis are the ends. So, two ends of the bone, one in the proximal end, one in the distal end. So, this would be called as proximal epiphysis and this would be called as this epiphysis story is simple. Now, look here. Here, when I am talking about, I have something called as a metaphysis. So, guys, when it comes to metaphysis, the discussion gets very much interesting. So, metaphysis is such part of the bone which is present between where and where? Between the epiphysis and the diaphysis. So, between, between whom and whom? Kiske beach? Epiphysis or diaphysis ke beach kone? Metaphysis. Okay, now when I am talking about metaphysis, followed by that I have diaphysis. So after the diaphysis, when I come down here, if you can notice uh, from here to the further, so here again I have one part would be called as metaphysis and one part would be called as epiphysis. So what happens is that uh, it's a simple logic, any bone you have a epiphysis, you have a metaphysis and you have a long diaphysis again metaphysis again epiphysis so two ends are what epiphysis before the ending so you have metaphysis in the middle beach mein kya hai beach mein is your diaphysis all right once you know this guys usually usually you have red bone marrow in the metaphysis and epiphysis you have red bone marrow you have red bone marrow so, when I am talking about red bone marrow from the orthopedics, uh, you wouldn't pay much attention, but I want you people to learn. Red bone marrow is the marrow which is responsible for the production of uh, RBC. It is responsible for the production of RBC. So, whenever we are talking about RBC, where it is coming from? Red bone marrow. Where exactly it is located? Go back to orthopedics. It is in the AP and metaphysis usually. All right. So, this part, meta and epiphysis is usually a smooth part of the bone would be called as a spongy bone, would be called as spongy bone. All right. So, let's continue to the next important aspect. So, when I'm talking about, if you notice here, if you notice here in this particular aspect, uh, let me zoom it a little bit, uh, you might get a better picture. So, here you have a cut section. 
we have a cut section so in the cut section if you look at the upper part yahan pe upar dekho yahan pe niche to dekho so in dono ke beech mein yahan pe kya hai yahan pe aisa cut kiya cut karte hi main andar wala section dekh raha hu as soon as i cut it i am looking at the inner part that inner part is only called as endosteum kya bolte usko endosteum the hard part of the bone would be called as compact bone and the cavity which is present inside the bone that is only called as medullary cavity that is only called as medullary cavity so i am very much interested about medullary cavity so when i am talking about medullary cavity i will show you some clinical importance here but uh, most of the people what we did we ignored hame kya bole the what we were thought are ratlo kaam ho jayega so by remembering the work was not done so now understand get the work done okay now listen to me what do you have here you have a medullary cavity you have what a medullary cavity medullary cavity where is it present medullary cavity is present inside the okay inside the medullary cavity we have something called as bone marrow base we have something called as bone marrow mm -hmm. when i'm talking about bone marrow all of you take it so lightly so easy so think about this bone marrow is composed of bone marrow is composed of two components what are the two components one of them is your fat one of them is your fat another one what is present here is your cells that is your cells so what are these cells responsible for so cells karte kya hai bone marrow ke andar the cells which are present inside the bone marrow they are responsible for the production of wbc so inside your body all the wbc cells which are coming are from your bone marrow bone marrow is located in the medullary cavity medullary cavity now when i'm talking about medullary cavity i will take a little more into the clinical aspect par kya hai ki to thoda lage rahiye please and understand kare sir please so listen to me very carefully here we have fat so when we are talking about fat how much percentage of fat is there how much percentage of cells is there we don't know why we should know that is the most important hame kya bolte are ratlo why chal jaye tab kaise chalega कैसे चलेगा काम सो रटने से काम नहीं चलेगा सो आई एम प्रीटी श्योर आई विल गिव आई विल गिव वन एम सी क्यू एटलीस्ट फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो आई होप माय बेस्ट टू डू दैट अगर एक भी एम सी क्यू आया उस दिन मुझे याद कर लेना एम एंड अचीव का टीम से डॉक्टर मारुति आए थे and he gave one mcq karke that's going to work for you people so listen to me very carefully let's continue how much percentage of the fat is there how much percentage of this is there so usually we follow one rule age in decades age in decades age in decades is equal to percentage of fat in the bone marrow percentage of fat in the bone marrow bm means bone marrow means what age in decade kitna saal umar hai uske hisab se percentage nikala jayega for example let's consider a man of 40 year age 40 years old so if he is 40 years old approximately approximately kitna percentage of fat is present inside the bone marrow that is your 40 percentage of the fat and 60 percentage of the cells you get that now with this much being uh, present in your mind aap logon ko kya padhaya gaya tha all of your thought old age people are immuno compromised old age people are immuno compromised reason nobody gave listen to me the reason is very simple so in the old age in the old age write down this is a very important uh, important information when you solving the mcq old age people old age mein budhapa mein kya ho jata hai old age people have increased increase of fat increase of fat in the bone marrow usually increase in the bone marrow compared to a young person compared to a young person old age people would have little bit more fat inside their bone marrow that will lead to what matlab bone marrow mein fat bad gaya to automatically cell kam gaya so that will lead to weak immune system so that is why this is one of the reason this is one of the reason jiske karan se because of which immune system because of which immune system is weak in old aged people so this is one question all right so let's get into the next important uh, mcq oriented information here for you people see everybody worried about mcq information so let me give you that only all right the next important aspect uh, in the bone in the bone we have some canals in the bone we have some canals in the bone so what are the canals in the bone we have one type of canals which are called as haversian canals which are called as haversian canals uh, what are those 
Haversian canals. So when I'm talking about Haversian canals, when I'm talking about Haversian canals, so let's come back to the picture here. Dekho idhar. Zara dekho, 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 dekho. Iske andar, for example, a canal hai. A canal hai. So there is one canal which is running from up to down like this. Which is running from up to down like this. Matlab ek canal hai, jo upar se niche ta. Canal is nothing but like a cavity which is running. Exactly cavity bhi nahi. Like a pipeline which is running from top to down. That is called as, that is called as Haversian canal. So Haversian canal ki matlab kya ho gaya? The canals which are running from up to down. Up to down or down to up. Okay. Ye ho gaya inka direction. Kinka direction by Haversian canals ka. So whose direction? Haversian canal. Let's get into the next important canal sir. So we have next important canal sir. They are called as Oakman canals. They are called as Oakman's canals. Kya balte unko? Oakman's canals sir. So, Oakman canals, we both logo ne, though non, not much attention were paid to the Oakman's canals, but Oakman canal ke baare mein pata nahi hai. Phir bhi hum log osteomyelitis padhi hai, kaise? So, that reasoning comes to you people here. So, I am not trying to undermine anybody here, but I am trying to tell you people how much important knowing the basics. Okay, chal, let's continue. When we are talking about Oakman canals, when we are talking about Oakman canals, Oakman canals will run from in to out. Matlab kya karte ho? Andar ki taraf, bone ki andar ki taraf se, bahar ki taraf ko connect karta hai. So, let me clear this area for you people, taki tum logon ko thoda better understanding aaye. Look here. Andar ki taraf se, bahar ki taraf ko connect karta hai. There you are, Oakman's canal. So, Oakman canal will connect the bone marrow's medullary cavity to the outer side. Medullary cavity to the outer side. So, because of this Oakman canal, jahan pe likhe ho, write down when the patient is having a osteomyelitis. Osteomyelitis. So, when I am talking about osteomyelitis, guys, osteomyelitis is nothing but what? It is nothing but inflammation of bone marrow. It is nothing but what? Inflammation of bone marrow. Okay. So, when we have an inflammation of bone marrow, inflammation of bone marrow, so osteomyelitis, the infection can spread. The infection can spread. So, listen to me very carefully. Body can the silk bones hai can nahi hai. What else is there, Dr. Chab? Think about this. Bone is covered with other structures such as muscles honge, skin honga, etc, etc, bone ke upar muscle, ma, periosteum, periosteum ke baad muscle, muscle ke baad facias, facias ke baad skin, etc, etc, everything is there, right? So, agar infection kaha hai? Andar hai, bone marrow ke andar hai. So, bone, infection is located inside the bone marrow. From inside of the bone marrow, the infection will spread to the outer aspect. So, outer aspect affecting the surrounding tissue. Matlab kya ho gaya? Infection kaham pe ta, bone ke andar ta. Andar se kaham pe aya, kaham pe aya, bahar, surrounding tissues of the bone, that is only called as spreading of the infection. So, infection spreads, spreads to the surrounding structures of bone marrow, to the surrounding structures of bone, I am really sorry, surrounding structures of the bone, surrounding structures of the bone, structures of the bone, via whom bone via somebody called as why are somebody called as oakman's canal oakman's canal so this is very important aspect so you need to pay attention because when you study osteomyelitis osteomyelitis is inflammation of bone marrow you people are very good at studying i am not saying no for that you people are way to way to brilliant but only thing is that you need to integrate integrate small information so integration ko aise kar lijiyega by looking at applying what is that this is a basic anatomy of the bone so usse hum logo ne kaha gaye osteomyelitis ek disease ke bare mein padhe to wo disease ba surrounding mein spread kaise hua hua through oakman canal that's it so this is the important canals which are present in the bone marrow to ab zindagi bhar ke dono canal bhul nahi sakte aversion canal upar se niche oakman side se side ke tak ka all right guys me itna padhane ke baad aap logon ko kya hai so I wanted to teach you people some more important aspect. The so important aspect is what is the important aspect is in the metaphysis. In the metaphysis, okay? Inside of your metaphysis, so that important aspect is that metaphysis ke under, inside of the metaphysis, you have something called as growth plate, my dear doctor, sir. What is there? Growth plate. Now this growth plate plays a great role in understanding about acromegaly. 
ठीक है आपका जाइगेंटिज्म हो गया ये दोनों को समझने के लिए आपको बहुत मदद करता है ग्रोथ प्लेट ग्रोथ प्लेट के बात में समझिए ग्रोथ प्लेट इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ सेल्स जिसको वी आल्सो कॉल इट एज फाइसिस बुलाया जाता है क्या कहा जाता है फाइसिस सो so, ये फाइसिस जो है इट इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ कार्टिलेजनस सेल इसके अंदर क्या रहता है डॉक्टर साहब कार्टिलेजनस सेल ओके सो इफ इट एज ए कार्टिलेजनस सेल इफ इट एज ए कार्टिलेजनियस सेल सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली थिंग वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड गाइस दिस कार्टिलेजनस सेल हेल्प्स इन्वॉल्व्स इन द बोन ग्रोथ इट इन्वॉल्व इन द बोन ग्रोथ ओके इफ इट इन्वॉल्व इन द बोन ग्रोथ इफ इट इन्वॉल्व इन द बोन ग्रोथ नाउ आई वांट यू पीपल टू अंडरस्टैंड वन इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट जो चिल्ड्रन होते हैं जो चिल्ड्रन होते हैं दे आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एडल्ट्स व्हाई देयर इज अ रीजन गाइस लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली सो फॉर एग्जांपल व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ग्रोथ प्लेट सो ग्रोथ प्लेट कैन बी ओपन ग्रोथ प्लेट कैन बी क्लोज्ड what do i mean by growth plate can be open or closed so this growth plate is open be at see from the time of puberty see from childhood till the time of puberty so maximum approximately i'm not giving you exact age approximately 18 years tak approximately 18 years tak that might vary some log bolte 17 some log bolte 21 tak so jab tak growth plate open hai so even let's leave the age till the time if growth plate till it's open till it's open jab tak ye open hai jab tak ye open hai tab tak kya hoga whenever growth can occur bone will grow bone growth bone growth can takes place bone growth is possible so what i'm trying to tell you people dr saab i'm trying to tell you people jab bhi bhi agar jab bhi bhi koi bhi condition pe aapko growth plate open hai to grow hone ke liye chances mil jata hai mil jata hai agar growth plate closed hai so bone growth is not possible agar growth plate close hai bone growth not possible bone growth not possible so what do i mean by abhi tak aapko ek ek samajh nahi aaya hoga what is open and closed dak sab kuch nahi hai growth plate open ki matlab hota hai growth plate na wo apna aap grow karne ki condition pe hota hai so closed matlab kya hota hai bone ke sath fuse ho jata hai matlab kya hai ki ab cartilaginous cells rahi nahi matlab we don't have cartilaginous cells at all so when we don't have cartilaginous cells at all to what will happen that's very easy to understand if cartilaginous cells are not there even if we have stimulation from the growth hormone what is going to happen growth will not occur so if you remember this you can correlate this growth plate into one disorder that is called as the increase of the growth hormone so any person with the increase of the growth hormone so in a pathological state when an all growth hormone will be increased in a pathological state one of them is your acromegaly one of them is your acromegaly and another one is your gigantism so what is that gigantism so when i'm talking about gigantism and acromegaly look here so acromegaly is seen in see growth plate is closed in whom adult okay so in the adult acromegaly will be there why acromegaly because of the reason growth plate is closed if growth plate is closed bone will grow not grow if bone will not grow only cartilages will go sirf cartilages grow hote jo cartilage tum soch rahe ho wo cartilage nahi grow hota because it is made out of carpus and cavernous theek hai jisko jo samajh aaya has lo jisko nahi aaya then it's okay so when i'm talking about when i'm talking about bone growth bone growth jahan pe possible nahi hai wo disorder ko kya kya कहते हो आप एक्रोमेगैली सो एक्रोमेगैली कहां पे आपको कोरिलेट करना पड़ता है एक्रोमेगैली इज अ कंडीशन जहां पे ग्रोथ ग्रोथ हार्मोन बड़ी हुई है सो ग्रोथ हार्मोन लेवल इज एलिवेटेड इन एडल्ट इन ए पर्सन हुज ग्रोथ प्लेट इज क्लोज्ड सो एक्रोमेगैली इज सीन इन एडल्ट एक्रोमेगैली इज सीन इन एडल्ट सो व्हाट विल ग्रो ओनली कार्टिलेजस विल ग्रो ओनली कार्टिलेजस विल ग्रो ओके कार्टिलेजस विल Growth, all right. When I'm talking about gigantism, gigantism is seen in the people whose growth plate is open. Basically, but che children me. So children me, kya hota hai? Growth plate open hota hai. Growth plate open. If growth plate is open, gigantism. Matlab what? Bones will also grow. Along with the bones, cartilages will grow. So unka growth kaise hoga? Proportionate growth. So tall person, six feet, seven feet, seven feet with well built person. That is your gigantic person. But why is gigantic? antic but not abnormally shaped because his growth plate was open when growth hormone was there that is why usko gigantism ho gaya so gigantism mein kya hota hai 
प्रोपोर्शनेट ग्रोथ होती है सो हाउ डू आई अंडरस्टैंड प्रोपोर्शनेट ग्रोथ होता है कि नहीं होता है फ्रॉम वेरी स्मॉल बेसिक दट मेरी स्मॉल बेसिक इज अबाउट मेटाफाइसिस काम पे मेटाफाइसिस इन द बोन मेटाफाइसिस इन द बोन बोन मेटाफाइसिस के अंदर कौन रहता है डॉक्टर साहब दैट इज योर व्हाट ग्रोथ प्लेट रहती है बस इतना बेसिक से आप लोग कहां तक पहुंच गए टिल द कंडीशन कॉल्ड एज दैट इज एक्रो मेगा ऑल राइट नाउ understand the next important aspect what is that next important aspect that guys next important aspect is that uh, whenever i am talking about bone bone ke andar ki taraf baat kar li hum logo ne bone ki division baat kar li let's understand the covering of the bone bone ko koi covering hota hai kya hota hai covering of the bone to covering of the bone hota kya hai covering of the bone is uh, Peri osteum, very good, very good. जो बोले वो बहुत सही आंसर दिया आप लोगों ने वट इज दट कॉल्ड एज पेरी ऑस्टियम सो पेरी ऑस्टियम तो मान लो सुनो इधर जरा ये मान लेते हैं अपना बोन है कौन है ये बोन है ठीक है बोन के ऊपर एक लेयर है कौन है पेरी ऑस्टियम अब पेरी ऑस्टियम है तो हमें क्वेश्चन आएगा सो वट डज इट डू ये करता क्या है और एक कैसा चिपका हुआ है बोन के साथ था बोन के साथ कैसा चिपका हुआ है वो भी इंपॉर्टेंट है और क्या काम करता है सो पेरियास्टियम प्लेस इन द नरिशमेंट ऑफ द बोन क्या करता क्या है ये पेरियास्टियम प्लेस रोल इन द नरिशमेंट ऑफ द बोन ये किसमें रोल काम करता है न्यूट्रिशन में काम करता है न्यूट्रिशन में थोड़ा हेल्प करती है एंड दूसरी बात है पेरियास्टियम इज अटैच टू बोन पेरियास्टियम किसके साथ हुआ है अटैच हो गया किसके साथ बोन के साथ अटैच टू बोन वया व्हाट बोन वया समथिंग कॉल्ड एज शार्पीज फाइबर समथिंग कॉल्ड एज शार्पीज फाइबर सो शार्पीज फाइबर जो है उनका काम क्या है भाई बोन और पेरियास्टियम को एक साथ रखना तो अब तक हम लोगों ने क्या किए क्या पढ़े लेट्स क्विकली रिवाइज एवरीथिंग इन वन मिनट सो क्लोज योर नोट जो भी नोट बना रहे थे नहीं बना रहे थे रेस्पेक्टिव please kindly close the notes and listen to me so what we studied so far studied about the bone bone ka parts hote what are those ap epiphysis metaphysis diaphysis to inke andar bone marrow hoti hai red bone marrow hote jo rpc produce karta hai aur ek hota hai bone marrow yellow color wali bone marrow which has a fat and cells jo fat hota hai percentage of fat depends upon the age age badhte hue fat badh jata hai rpc white blood cells kam hote jata hai to isliye budhon mein immune system weak hone ki chances possibility hoti so when i'm talking about bone bone ki jo covering hoti hai uska naam hai periosteum ke naam kya hai periosteum uska kaam kya hai nutrition mein madad karta hai periosteum aur bone ke sath chipka hua hai sharpy fiber ke through through what sharpy fiber so the next important aspect hum logo ne kya kare the metaphysis ke bare mein padhte the metaphysis ke andar kya hai dr sir that is only called as growth plate to growth plate ke bare mein padhte hue hum log kaam pe relate kiye the to the growth hormone acromegaly and gigantism jab bhi growth plate khula rehta hai ग्रोथ हो सकता है जब भी ग्रोथ प्लेट बंद हो जाता है ग्रोथ नहीं होता है किसका ग्रोथ बोन की ग्रोथ कहानी खत्म सो दिस इज द वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट ए क्रिस्प ए नेचुरल इंट्रोडक्शन टू ए बोन टू ए बोन थैंक यू गाइस कीप फॉलोइंग आवर चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोस लाइक